Hello everybody, and here are the few things you'll need to load your kayak onto a jig cradle. You'll need your two two-foot cam straps with loops on the end, two eight-foot straps with loops on the end, two 12-foot cam straps, two S-hooks, and a locking mechanism. And obviously your jig cradles. First things first is to load your kayak onto the jig cradles. It's much easier to do this with two people, but I usually just do it by myself. You want to make sure that your kayak is centered in between the two J cradles and that the back of the kayak or the bottom is flat against the back of the J cradles. Once your kayak is flat, you want to take your 12 foot cam strap, throw it through the top of your J cradle, and then make a longer side to throw over and a shorter side with the strap on to throw over. You'll repeat the same thing on the other side. And the reason why you want the shorter side with the strap on it is that it doesn't swing down and hit your window and break it. One thing to keep in mind is keeping your straps flat on the kayak. You don't want them twisted up, causing a lot of pressure on one point, which could possibly warp your kayak. Take your strap, throw it through the J-cradle, and then under your crossbar. You want to pull that through, and then you're going to want to put it through that cam strap and start to cinch it down. You don't want to cinch it down too tight, but you want to make sure it's pretty snug on there so it won't go rattling around. You'll want to repeat the same thing on your other side and then take the two tag ends and tie them just as you would in your shoe with bunny ear loops just so they're not flying all around. Next, take your two foot cam strap, put it through the handle in the front of your kayak, and then you want to put your cam strap through the loop and then tighten that down. Then repeat that on the back side. After that, the S clip comes in. You want to connect your S clip to your 8 foot strap with the loop on the end. Get it secure underneath your car, somewhere where it has steel, like a steel hole, so it will be on something sturdy. And then you want to take that 8-foot strap and cinch it down to your cam strap hanging down from the front of your kayak. And once again, do it the same thing to the other side. I just tie a little random knot to keep it tight so my straps won't fly around. Lastly, take your lock and put it through your J cradle and your crossbar just as you would with straps and find some kind of hole in your kayak. If you don't have it, it's fine. I just like the lock as a extra support and if I'm going into a store or something, I don't have to worry about the slightest chance of someone stealing my kayak off my roof. And I'll just take the tag end and stick it inside so it's not flapping all around. All right, now we have a kayak strapped down and ready to roll. Before you leave on any embarkment, I would highly suggest, you know, feeling your kayak, pushing it around, giving it a little bit of a shove to make sure that that thing won't go flying off when you're down the road. But if you follow these steps, I have a feeling that you will be just fine.